Today, I want to talk about metaphors. What is a metaphor? A metaphor carries a shared quality, a characteristic across two things or concepts of different natures. It allows us to create new connections and transfers different meanings. It can help people understand an idea more clearly. It can show us that something is a symbol of something else. They're used to add emphasis of color to the point that it's trying to convey. A metaphor is a figure of speech that states that one thing is another thing. It is used to make comparisons between two objects, concepts that aren't alike but have something in common. Take for Example, the serpent in Genesis 3. We look at it as being a snake. It's part of the earth's family. But humans look at it as something that's dangerous and bad and crawls on its belly. Most of us are just plain scared of them. We don't want them around us or any part of our species because of their reputation, that if they bite you, it's lights out. We perceive it as a destroyer. 
looking at that story as a metaphor instead of being real, then you can see that the message is trying to convey. In this metaphor, the serpent is the ultimate salesman. The man fell from grace, and he has been falling more and more ever since. He has given up his place of dominion, and he is causing others to do the same thing. That same serpent is operating today. Metaphors are great in that it can make you say one thing, but the meaning is something else. Look at this metaphor. A 90-year-old man goes to this annual checkup, and he is proud of himself, happy. He was bragging to his doctor that his 20-year-old wife was having a baby. He was so excited that he would be a father despite his age. The doctor just listened to the man's excitement and then he told him a story. He said, I know a man who was a hunter. He had gone hunting every season. One day during hunting season, the man was in a rush to get into the woods and he grabbed an umbrella instead of his shotgun. Well, he was out of in the woods and when he came across a ferocious grizzly bear, he was terrified. He raised up his umbrella and pointed at the bear trying to scare it away. He closed his eyes and squeezes the handle tight. Boom. The bear drops dead from the gunshot wound to the head. The man replied, that's impossible. Someone else must have shot the bear. The doctor paused and said, exactly. Somebody should have shot. Everybody is some type of salesman in one form or another. The salesman is the cause and not the effect on everyone under his or her influence, but is the effect of those that influences him or her. These are the guidelines to be an acceptable salesman. It's not because, it's not about the salesman, but it's about the person that you are selling to. You're supposed to be trying to fulfill a need of that person that you are selling to and in fulfilling their need, you will be rewarded. It has been said that one monkey don't stop no show. But unsaid, one monkey can start a show. A salesman represents, we are ambassadors of what we are trying to accomplish. We want to participate, we want you to participate in our projects. Selling with the wrong intention is robbery. In Leviticus 19, 35 and 36, states that ye shall do no unrighteousness in judgment, in mediate, in weight, or in measure. 36 just balances, per just weight, and just epa, epa, epa. And a just hen shall ye have. So honesty is the best policy. When you promote a person, place, or thing, you are a salesman and you are supposed to be standing behind what you're selling. In the, midi in the metaphor in Genesis 3, the serpent was looking to better his or her life, not the ones in the garden. Salesman is called.